Welcome to another 3ABN Today Live. Thank you for joining us as you do each and every day. I have my beautiful co-host next to me, Miss Yvonne. How oh, are you doing? Thank you. Doing well. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, I really wanted to be here. You know it. Oh, I know you did. There's no <laughs> way she was not going to be on this program. If we'd have shut the door, somehow she would have found her way in, and you will find out. In fact, let's let them know right now. Tell us why you wanted to be here today. Because we have the wonderful Aikens, Curtis the Aikens. and Paula Aikens. Oh, okay. you pronounced it correctly. Not Aiken, but Aikens. Aiken. 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 Congratulations. Thank well, you that's so good much. after knowing you 25 years. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Right. yeah it should be by now. Sure. You come a long way. Yeah. yeah Thank right. you for getting that correct. Abundant living. Now, this is uh, one of their first times on 3ABN, I think. Um, I don't think so. No, I don't. And you know they're on Dare to Dream as well. They're on Dare to Dream. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, well, Absolutely. That's unfair. We got to keep them over here because <laughs> what I found out over the years is, is wherever they are, that's where people are watching. Well, I'll see. Because they never, they they never bore you to tears. Oh, I will tell goodness. you that. I've seen many, many of their programs done, tremendous amounts of programs, and these two. Well, never, you'll never fall asleep when That's they're right. on. Now, if you want to fall asleep, let me sing. Then you might fall asleep. No. But these folks uh, no. are, are on. They have a great time in the Lord. And what we love and appreciate about you guys are that Christians can have fun. Yeah, that's, that's true. And that we should be the happiest, most excited people on planet Earth. I say that all the time. Yes. That's true. Yeah. Very true. Yes. Absolutely. And we are. Yes. Absolutely. All right. And, and yeah. you all. And it been, shows. And you all been coming to 3ABN now? 20 years. All right. There you go. Woo, 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 woo. 20 years. Yes. That I mean, I, I think I still have baby fat on me when I first came. I don't know about you. <laughs> well, and just, I, I thought you might say that, so in a little bit, we'll see if you did, because we've got some old rows we're going to oh show goodness. you a little bit about okay. the video. Oh. So. That, let's, let's cut that part out. Can we, can <laughs> we cut? Too late. I thought, this I, is a lie, right? I've already promised the folk, and so there's nothing <laughs> we can do about okay. it now. <laughs> we're going to show up, but we want you to tell the folks, if there's somebody who doesn't know the Aikens, and this is your first time, tell them a little bit about mm -hmm. Abundant Living, what you what you do, and, okay. and what your ministry is all about. Yes, Abundant Living is a uh, program, a lifestyle program. We have information about healthful living from a natural standpoint, mm -hmm. and also a cooking segment as well. Mm -hmm. And we're just so glad. We uh, had our walk uh, this morning, and we talked about how God has put us together for such a time as this. All right. I love to do research research from a natural standpoint, alternative complementary medicine. I love to do that. My wife loves to cook. She can cook in the kitchen 24-7. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. And it's an awesome responsibility to me to taste all these recipes. I mean, <laughs> I'm up to my ankles. Yeah, I really I am. Bet. Really. I feel terrible. And God put us together <laughs> for such a time as this. Okay. So, uh, therefore, uh, Abundant Living, John 10, 10, and that's our theme, that's our text, and we're just so grateful for 3 of being a dearly dream to uh, mm -hmm. yeah, these programs. Absolutely. Now, they also do, uh, she does exercise programs on 3ABN. I don't know if you know that or if she even knows that. Yeah, I don't think I've, she knew that. Many, many people have <laughs> written to us when I go to churches. They talk to me about it. She does exercise. It's from here up. It's her neck. So, oh, okay. You know, I'm kind of slow, you, but I got you it know, now. You got it, right? Yeah, I'm kind of slow, can yeah. Do like this. Her neck can do like this. I'm going to try to keep it calm today. No, no, no. Gonna, Let's see if you I'm still got it. No, oh, no. Uh, after 20 years. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. Look how good my neck looks. Yeah, yeah. Like this. That? Okay, it's, it's right. not the same. And then All after right. that, she does. You go, girl. Uh, yeah, that, that's nice. <laughs> Hand on the hip, you know, the whole motion from top to bottom. I just love to cook. 
That's yeah, but you know what? She's when you came, cooking. You, she used to do that a lot, and people loved it. And she didn't even know she was doing it. I did not know it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't I went back home and saw it, and I said, oh, my goodness. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. I do not practice that. It just yeah. comes natural. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, how about you? Can you do that, Yvonne? You know what? Uh, no, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot do that. My neck is too stiff. I just cannot do it. I'll teach. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Although I don't know how to do it. I mean, I just know I do it. So yeah. whenever you, you see me do it, just copy. There you, you go. Know, well, I try. Yeah. It well, just you know, doesn't. Well, if you see me do it, then you just try it. to do it. I can. And that okay. way, it's, you know. All okay. Right. Mm -hmm. all right. yeah. I didn't know if you could still do it after all these years. Oh, I can no. still do it. You can do it. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. We want to see. see so I know how to push buttons. I know how to push a button. and shoot. You can do all kinds of ways. Yeah, yeah. Not off camera. I'm not going to do it right now. Off camera. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm. I'm sure we'll see it before this program's over. But we do love and appreciate you guys so much. And 20 years is amazing. God has had you together ministering to people. Mm -hmm. Now, when you came here, you ha had you ever done television before? Just locally and just there, small, uh, small just and small local thing. there in Huntsville, okay. Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was watching 3 ABN one Sunday and a lady was cooking and I told my wife, honey, why don't you send in one of the video clips that you did locally at a local station in Huntsville, mm -hmm. about maybe five or 10 minutes. And we sent that uh, video in and uh, we sit it in and I think uh, six months later, you got a call from, uh, from D. D. Hildebrand, and why don't you yeah. just kind of briefly tell that story? Well, I was at honey. Oakwood University working as a mm -hmm. professor and um, went through the summer. We had the summer off, and um, around September time, I got this phone call. We had sent a video in and also uh, some recipes, and we got this phone call, and it was D. Hildebrand. Mm -hmm. And she said, hi, this is D. Hildebrand from Three Angels Broadcasting Network, and we'd like to invite you and your husband to come to 3ABN. I said, is this my girlfriend? Playing around with me, <laughs> and she was so serious. She, said, she, she kept professional. No, this is Dee Hildebrand. No, this is Hildebrand with three ABN. <laughs> we want to know, you know, can you come to the program? Mm -hmm. And we were booked. We had things going on all the yes. rest of that year. It was September. That's right. And while she was saying, can you come in, you know, October? Can you come in November? And I, the Lord just said, tell her when you can come. And I said, Miss Hildebrand, we can't come this year. We can only come next year. And she said, well, I don't have a calendar for next year. March I said, well, good, we can come March the 13th of next year, 1997. And she said, well, I don't have a calendar. I said, well, that's good. You don't have anybody listed. That's that means right. we can actually come. And <laughs> she said, well, I guess that would be OK. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see you then. <laughs> <laughs> so right. you were actually booked that whole year we were already? booked with stuff yes. going on. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, already. You know, Mercy. One of the things I love about your program is that you don't just do cooking, but you teach as well. Yes, right. So it's, it's, it's a different kind of, it's got a different flavor, if you mm -hmm. will, mm -hmm. because you're teaching and then you're implementing. Yes. yes. And, uh, and you, this is so important because there's so many people who are sick mm -hmm. who really need to know how to be well. Mm -hmm. And you teach them, not just give them alternative facts about mm -hmm. their disorder, but then you show them how to eat to fix it. Mm -hmm. And that's just so good. And I, I just want to say thank you mm -hmm. for all your hard work. Yes. I know Curtis is an ND, he's a doctor of naturopathy, and, mm -hmm. and Paula is a, 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 a nutritionist. A, a nutritionist. Yeah. I tell people, Indy, that's North Dakota and that's Mississippi. <laughs> Pepe said, really? I didn't know that. I'll let them stew now just for a little while before I clear it up. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have worked hard to mm -hmm. do what you do, and um, we appreciate all well, that they, you do. They have, but one of the things that really is, you know, we laugh a, a lot and we, we, we have fun, probably as much more offset as we do <laughs> on camera. But one of the things that really is effective, I mentioned a little bit earlier, is the joy. Mm -hmm. Because I've had people mm -hmm. in the past, and we've been doing this now 32 years mm -hmm. and on camera probably 30 or more, and we've had people who present the health message, mm -hmm. but we get very little response from yeah. people. And people will write us and say, well, first of all, those people don't act like they're happy, so what good does it do? <laughs> right. to, and, yeah. and they don't look healthy. Yeah. They, you know, they don't look happy. 
Mm. And so if you're going to take a $10 bill from us, at least give us a 20 mm. in return. <laughs> mm. Well, they may take your $10 bill from you, but they're going to give you a $100 bill to replace it. Mm. Yeah. And that, being on 3ABN, has taken you how many places oh, my. Oh. around the world? Yes. Yeah, it really has. Yeah. I mean, throughout Other the United countries? States, uh, yeah. Yeah, Canada, Bahamas, Bermuda, Grand Cayman. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it's taken us all over, giving us exposure. And uh, we did that live uh, 20 years ago, sitting in this area right here. And uh, after that uh, show aired, that live, uh, that evening, uh, you guys offer us our own television program mm -hmm. that night. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, D said, I need 26 programs <laughs> for half a year. You know, ideas. That's D yeah. Hildebrand. Yeah, yeah. 26 programs for half a year. I mean, we'd be all over the world. Then she said something to me. She says, and Curtis, you're going to have to quit your job. Uh oh. Now, now, I said something in my mind. I didn't say it out loud. But I did out loud. Now, what was your job? I was, uh, I was a surgeon's assistant working okay. in a hospital. Yeah. All right? Huntsville Hospital for nine years. Yeah. And uh, yeah. so, I mean, it's like, I she said. She just said you're going to quit your job. Uh, yes. And I'm, this lady don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> she just met me. She don't know me. Quit my job. No, no, no. And I said, ain't nobody quitting no ain't job. Ain't nobody quitting no job now. <laughs> I mean, you job, love man. ministry, but you're going to look too far. There's the neck yeah. in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's yeah. the neck. See, yeah. see? Yeah. the neck is coming. Yeah. It's coming. Ain't nobody, yeah. Yeah. ain't nobody quitting. Yeah, it'd be some more movement after a while. But but she realized the exposure. And uh, we're just grateful for that opportunity as well. Mm -hmm. And that following year, I did turn in my resignation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I ate wow. those words with a little bit of salt yeah. and there you, go. you know, butter. Yeah. We, went, we went back to, we told her that 26 programs, we don't know whether we even have the titles yeah. of that. We need to go back, pray and ask the Lord about it. And she said, well, you'll be seen all over the world. I said, yeah, but if God mm -hmm. is, not, is yeah. not in it, it will not go anywhere. That's so we're right. going to go pray. And we'll give you an answer in the morning. So we went back and said, do we have 26 hmm. titles, Curtis? He said, I don't know, babe. Let's just pray and go to bed. So we went to bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we woke up at the, the next, exact same time, morning. sat up in the bed together, and got the paper and pencil out. And we rattled off 33 shows. I mean, they just kept wow. coming. They just kept, wow. kept coming. Oh, so we called back over. And we said, OK, D. <laughs> we'll do it. She said, well, I'll see you in six, six months. months. Ready to go. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and that was 20 years ago. So, uh, yeah. That's, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. that that's really incredible. Mm -hmm. That's What would you say has been the biggest challenge over the 26 years, or over the, how many, how many well, years? 20, 20, 20 years. Well, 20 years. Over yeah. the 20 but, years. Yeah. What would you say has been the biggest challenge for you, not just in terms of your ministry and teaching? Okay, let, let me say this. When we started this ministry, and T. Marsha Kelly is on our board of directors, those mm -hmm. who know oh, him. Oh, we okay. love him. Sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is what we've seen in other people's ministries, husband, wife, whatever. A lot of people will wear themselves out, mm -hmm. even in doing ministry for the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, Mark 6, 31, Jesus told his disciples, come aside and rest a while. Right. Mm -hmm. Told his disciples, you, go, you guys go home, you know, relax and meet me back. So even in ministry, we must find time to relax. So we told ourselves, we said, we are not going to travel no more than twice out of the month in travel. Mm -hmm. That's our limit. And okay. we have true to that over 95% of our 20 plus year ministry. Mm -hmm. We're not going to wear ourselves out. Okay. So tell people you want us, well, we're, we're booked. We have to wait until next year, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. We held true to that. And when we do travel, we take time out for ourselves. We okay. relax. We Good. walk around the hotel, fresh air, fitness, sometimes these hotels. So we engage in some type of relaxation, uh, stressful, stressless activities, mm -hmm. even in ministry, because we can wear ourselves out Absolutely. as well. So that's one of the things that we held mm -hmm. true to our ministry as far as taking time out, even in ministry for the Lord. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. really important. I, and, mm -hmm. I, you know, the excitement when mm -hmm. we go places, people will might say something like, um, well, we didn't have as many people coming as we thought. But our ministry is also set up so that when God sends us on assignment, it doesn't matter how many mm -hmm. people are there. Yeah. Our job is to bring hope and to remind people of a second coming savior. Mm -hmm. And so, so I remember, Danny, the first time you met us, you said, now I know that God has brought singers and preachers, but I never thought he'd bring cooks. <laughs> and that was the thing that, we, you know, that like cooking part, the health message is the, the entering wedge. So when people bring us in for health, they have no idea when we come, we bring in Jesus. <laughs> we mm -hmm. bring in Jesus too, okay. Mm -hmm. So yes. you, you Focus on different disorders. Right. And tonight, you're going to talk about 
diabetes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Let's, that's so interesting to me because so many people mm -hmm. have it. Let's talk about the prevalence of it. But before we get into that, can yeah. I make a suggestion? Okay. Yeah. I'd like to see some of the, wouldn't you like to oh, see yes. some of the, oh, some of the early programs? Oh, yes. Oh, okay, now you, you didn't oh, ask us about whether or not we well, want to see no, it. Oh, <laughs> you just uh -oh. asking her. That's right. You got that right. I won't argue with you. So we're going to go back in the day. We're going to go back in oh, the day. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to just see. I love it. How this thing has <laughs> yes. evolved over the years. Yes, you, yes, you yes, like yes. It, right? Love it. The folks at home, you want us to show it? I'm seeing heads going. We want to see. I'm seeing see heads going the opposite direction. <laughs> see, and maybe we'll even get to see some bloopers. I don't know. Oh, my maybe goodness. Maybe not, but we'll see. Let's, let, let's watch the Aikens 20 years ago. Nutrition 101, that's the subject for the day, Curtis. That's right. Now, in Abundant Living series, to help the people understand what we're talking about, there's going to be a lot of information. So we have a program book called Natural Alternatives, a no-nonsense nutritional and herbal approach to diseases and a lot more. Well, welcome back. Now we go to the best part, Curtis. Best part. Just my favorite part. Uh, honey, we started off um, talking about the vegan diet. Mm -hmm. Now, I noticed that and for the viewing audience, um, there's no milk here. Uh, how can a person get protein in this group here? Well, speaking about protein and also, also about calcium, okay. then for the vegan, the person who is not eating the milk, the eggs, the cheese, all right, then we have soy milk. Abundant Living, this is just the beginning. We also have many, 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 many more shows to come. Get your families and your friends and come by and see us again. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Well, hello and welcome to Abundant Living. Uh, my name is Paula Aikens and this is my husband. Curtis Aikens. And Glad we, they're with us today. We are so happy they're with us today. All right, now this is hot topic, oh, uh, diabetes. This is I a mean, hot it topic. is sizzling. I think right now it's now categorized as an epidemic. Yes. Uh, so this is a topic that uh, we need to talk about. It's, easy, it's easy, even though Vegetable. it's got a lot of stuff on it. But good ingredients. Good ingredients, good because ingredients. what's happening is we've got to assimilate okay. people like lasagna. We've got to assimilate what looks like lasagna from beginning to end. Hi, welcome to Abundant Living. My name is Curtis Akins. I'm glad you're with us today. And we have a wonderful program in store for, with you. Uh, now, this okay. is... Okay, with you. And I'm his wife, Paula Akins. Yes, Paula Akins. I'm, I'm yes. glad to be here with you. My bride of... Glorious 13 years. Mm -hmm. And we actually served this dish okay. over top of curly leaf lettuce. So uh -huh. we want you to stay by and see the finished product. Okay. Hi, welcome to Abundant Living. This is Curtis Akins, your co-host. And of course, I have another co-host as well. That would be my beautiful bride. And won't you introduce yourself for me, please? For you, Paula. 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 And is there a last name to Paula? I'm your bride, so Aikens. Aikens, okay. Very good. I'm glad you're with me with all these programs. <laughs> I'm glad to be here as well. Yes, okay. And so why is the laughter? This is a new series. Yes, it is. Well, why don't we talk about that? <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about that. Well, this series about, now again, uh, this is a running series, as my wife has said, and this series is entitled The Eight Natural Remedies. Delicious. Delicious. Delicious, delicious recipe together. I've got, I've got garlic in there, you're talking about herbs. Mm -hmm. I've got That's ginger right. Herb. going oh, on got here. The herbs in here. Okay. Uh -huh. I've got onions going on over here, okay. all that stuff there. Okay. All right. So we're going to start off with now. Going on you here. know, um, I love it. The only it's changes great. I saw were hairdos and <laughs> loss of hair. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah, just 
I mean, I started out a big Perfect. afro. Well, look had, at yeah, me now. You, you had it now, and, and you look good, though. Yes. I think you, you look fine. Let's do another bump on you. There you go. So, but, of course, women, they always get to change their always hair. Change right? Their right? Hair. They have they, that privilege. Yeah, you they, never let them see the They do same that all the time. You never know we're going to yeah, change. That's you right. see so many, see all the different sets and different clothes they were wearing, different styles over the years. 20 years, that really is amazing. We just so, again, we're just so grateful yes. and honored and privileged. Yes. We yes. really are. And uh, we're just grateful for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. no, we're, we're, we're thankful, too, because the people around the world, basically, if I can use the word, have demanded it. They, they love what you do. Praise God. And again, because a lot of people don't understand that health being part of ministry. Maybe you should explain, then we're going to get in to the diabetes we were talking about, but for people watching, mm -hmm. because as you know, a lot of churches, the last thing people are talking about is health. They're just mm -hmm. talking about, so how do Seventh-day Adventist Christians, and I'm sure there's others too, how do you say, look, I'm in the ministry, but I cook? Mm -hmm. Okay, honey, okay, when we both look at one another, that yeah. makes me in trouble. Let me <laughs> talk, okay, yeah. Um, Let's go with the Word of God. Matthew 4, 23. The Bible says, Jesus went about throughout all Galilee, teaching, preaching, and healing all manner of, now get this, two words, sickness and disease. Okay. Which means that the two words are not synonymous with one another. Okay. People can be sick but not have a disease. Okay. You can have a disease and not be sick. Mm. Jesus ministered to both. Mm. Of the 35 miracles that's recorded of Jesus in the New Testament, 28 dealt with healing, okay. over 70%. Wow. So Jesus' ministry threefold, preaching, teaching, healing, but uh, a lot of the healing came first to open the door, to soften the heart, right. to receive their spiritual blessings. Okay. So that's why we say the health message it's the right arm of the gospel. We say it's the gospel marines <laughs> okay. first on the scene to open the door for other spiritual truths. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, you know, if a country goes to war, you don't send in the army, air force, you send in the marines first. Mm -hmm. So with gospel marines, a lot of people have no interest, let's say in spiritual things, yeah. no interest in listening to a sermon, but those same individuals have high blood pressure and diabetes even agnostic and infidels. Absolutely. So therefore, you can reach anybody with a health message mm -hmm. done in a Christ-like way, mm -hmm. non-derogatory, not putting people down or making them feel guilty. Because mm -hmm. that's the thing that we don't want to do because it turns people off. It really mm -hmm. does. It's and then, loving. Yes, and then along with that, once we've, once a person begins to see how they can make a change in their, their lifestyle, um, the most of the things they'll say is that I don't have any recipes. I, I don't even know how to even get started. So th that's why we know that the Lord has taken the part of the, the teaching them first and then showing them. Mm -hmm. And the showing is that once Curtis mentions to me about a program we're going to do on high blood pressure or heart disease or cancer, then I get the recipes that matches the mm -hmm. program, which is always plant-based. It's just different recipes. So that, therefore, the people get a chance to see, we like to take we call the superfoods that an individual grows up on. A superfood means is there's certain foods, if I were to ask you, what is a food that you loved when you were growing up and every time you went home, you were able to get that food. Do you remember what it was, Yvonne? Uh, mac and cheese. Mac mm -hmm. and cheese, okay. okay. Danny, what about you when you were growing up? Uh, we were poor, so we, if we had beans and rice, we were happy. So here we go. So when we go to a, an area, I study to find out what is the actual superfoods of that particular group. Mm -hmm. When we mm -hmm. went to Bahamas, they said they like soups and stews. And we went okay. to different places, they'll tell me. And when they say that, then we design the recipes to match the actual culture. Nice. Okay. That way, a pe person will say, well, I can do this, you know. And mm -hmm. we always say the word, an alternative and plant-based. Okay. We don't go in there saying we're vegans, because if you say the word, if you say vegetarian, they're vegetarian. like... Vegetarian, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Vegans, yeah. like from vegan. a different really planet. Are. I mean, you're <laughs> totally out. Okay. Hey, hey. So the shows, they've always said your foods are easy, mm -hmm. they're simple, and they're recognizable. And mm -hmm. I think that that's the blessing that God has given, the idea of being able to do, curse the research, and then come back and let's match them up with the recipes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're doing a very good job, too. You really are. Yes, you yes, come a is. long way, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, too. I try. 
Okay. This one stayed on camera, that's all. Yeah. Oh, okay, go ahead, tell them on camera. I already did. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think I should, and I think I should interrupt here. <laughs> I don't know where this is headed. <laughs> But uh, I, I'm going to this program, so <laughs> now let me tell you something. You talked about um, agnostics, other people watching this. I don't know if I ever told you this, but a number of years ago, we went to the West Coast at a program. Mm. There was someone that was on the front, she and her husband, mm. uh, on the front rows. And so during the whole program, I noticed they just cried. They were in tears. Mm. And afterwards, I asked one of the people with us, because I was shaking hands with lots of people, why don't you go talk to those folk and see what their story, they just seemed like they were broken. And their story was this, they had, the lady was a witch. Now I know people say, oh yeah, I know a lot of witches. No, I'm talking about a real witch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was raised in families of witches. She says that she had seen human sacrifices in her early days because her parents were, were witches into witchcraft. I mean, mm -hmm. this is here in America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, she was way overweight, sugar diabetes, mm -hmm. health was terribly bad. She went to the doctor mm. and the doctor said, if you don't do something, we don't get this down. Mm. You're not gonna live very long. Mm. So the, they said, we're gonna have to put you on some kind of, mm. I'm gonna say regimen. We're gonna put you on some kind of program, mm -hmm. but we've got to do something. Mm. Well, their program was, let's try this drug and that drug, mm -hmm. let's do this. Mm -hmm. So she's, went home and she's very discouraged. Mm -hmm. She had a husband and about 11 year old, I think it was a daughter. And she said, I don't want to die because, you know, we're Satanist and we actually have church where we, at home we worship, mm -hmm. we sing out of hymnals, and, but we worship Satan as our God. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to leave them because what if something happened and I died and then they became Christians or something, mm -hmm. that would be terrible. Mm -hmm. okay. So the next week she went to the doctor, she's sitting in the waiting room and people were talking and somebody said, uh, she said, yeah, I've got this health. And they said, do you watch 3ABN? No, I never heard of 3ABN. Well, they got some pe people on there that are, do great health programs. Mm -hmm. Some of them are funny, mm -hmm. some of them, but they're all good. Mm -hmm. And so she started naming the health program. You guys are one of the people that this woman watched. Mm -hmm. And so she watched the program. She said, well, what kind of network is that? And they said, well, we get it locally right out here on the West Coast. So you can just turn it on the channel. Mm -hmm. So she went home and this is what she was telling the person I had go talk to, a 3ABN person later after the mm -hmm. service. They went into a, a room and she was telling this woman. So I began to watch. And as soon as I saw they were Christians, I shut them down. She didn't like you anymore. She mm -hmm. shut you off. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't, you know, I liked what they said, but I, I think they're Christians, so shut them off. Mm -hmm. So she says the next week I go back to the doctor in the waiting room, different people. Somebody else saying, man, 3ABN has helped me so much. I've been watching these health programs that they're doing mm -hmm. and the, the, then I just love them and, and I've lost a lot of weight and my health is better. So she said, well, I'm going to try it. So the doctor told her, we're not making much progress. Mm -hmm. Things don't look good for you. So she said, I had to make a decision. If I'm going to die, I had to kill my husband and my, my child because I, I didn't want them to, I didn't want to die without them. And if I'm going to hell, I want them to go with me. Mm -hmm. So I had mm -hmm. something, I, but I didn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So I went home one more time and I turned on the television. And when I did, someone was reading the Bible. She said, I literally fell prostrate mm. on the ground mm. and I worshiped, worshiped the Creator God. Oh, wow. mm. I don't know what happened. The hmm. Holy Spirit came over me. Mm. Mm. I began to cry and I began to weep. Mm -hmm. And she said, those health programs hmm. got me watching wow. and I found Jesus Christ. Mm. Mm. She had lost 60 pounds when mm. we met her, mm -hmm. her diabetes, was mm. under control. Okay. Her health was good. Her husband was there. They all three was in an Adventist church for the first time. Praise so God. thank you yeah. for what you do for the cause of God. Wow. Yes. We, we, we'll never know until we reach the heavenly kingdom mm -hmm. the impact that God has allowed all of us to have a part to play in building up his kingdom. Really do, yes. Yeah. Um, I want to move incredible it. stories. That's that's incredible. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is. So the, the health message, the right us. arm, right, mm -hmm. got people who are Satanist, mm. witches, watching, 
the Aikens and other mm -hmm. programs mm -hmm. on 3 ABN. Yes. And brought them to the Lord. Yes. Excellent. You wow. know, we know that God loves everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, he died right. for every mm -hmm. single person. And so with that in mind, in his time, he is going to visit. Okay. And when he visits, something's All going right. to happen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. okay. And we're just right. grateful. In the book of Psalms, it says that we're like vapor here today and going tomorrow. That's right. And I know that when we have our devotion, we always say, well, so God, let this vapor then speak for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the time we have, let the vapor speak for you. All mm -hmm. right. So that's, that's, that's a good testimony. Love it, love mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's okay. powerful. Okay, so we talk about diabetes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That story is just, oof, yes. that it's, it's yes. powerful. With that in mind, what is the prevalence of diabetes now? I mean, yes. how, how widespread is it? It is not only an epidemic, it's a pandemic. Uh, it's worldwide. Uh, let's go to the screen because this is going to be an eye opener right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every time we do a diabetes program, uh, we really roll up our sleep and really target this disease. Uh, my wife and I, we are now uh, a diabetes ambassador for the state of Alabama for the American Diabetes Association. Oh. Mm -hmm. We're also on the board of uh, directors with the Crestwood Hospital. They have a diabetes program. Mm -hmm. And also our program is now recognized by the Center for Disease Control uh, and Prevention as well. So look at this chart here. Now, those are diabetic. Now, of course, this chart needs to be updated. Uh, about 11% are diabetics, all right? Mm -hmm. Pre-diabetes, 35 mm percent. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now again, this chart is somewhat outdated just by a few years. Quite frankly, if you look at this chart, about 48 or 49 percent of the people in this country are either a pre-diabetic or a diabetic. Mm. Mm. Now, let me put this in perspective. If, uh, thank you for that graphic. I have a coin. I'm going to throw this coin up in the air. For those who are watching, you can call either heads or tails. Mm -hmm. Whatever you call, that's about the risk of that person who's watching this program, either they are a pre-diabetic mm. or a diabetic mm. in this country. Mm -mm. Mm. That's how close it is. Now, that's the national average. In the South, and our uh, position is the South Center Conference of Seventh-day Adventist Health Ministries Directors. Mm -hmm. That's Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, and northwest part of Florida. Okay. We live within the diabetes belt, mm. have the highest rate in the country. So when I flip that coin, it's even higher than 50% 50, mm -hmm. 50 mm. where we live. Mm. Now, why is that? Honey, you comment on that one. Mainly lifestyle. Once again, we're back to lifestyle. Everything has to do with lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And so in our conference, we'll be talking and addressing all the things that people might not be doing that's good, that can help them as far as lifestyle is concerned, mm -hmm. versus the things that they they're not even paying attention to. As Curtis said, those who don't even know that they're diabetic. Mm -hmm. uh, where our major audience is, tr is talking to those individuals who don't even think about the fact that they could possibly be a diabetic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's pre-diabetes. Mm -hmm. And so here's the thing. So you have the diabetics here in the United States. Now worldwide, it's over close to 500 million mm -hmm. worldwide. Mm. Mm. Okay, but the United States about, uh, about, about right at 30 million who are diabetic in this nation. Mm -hmm. One fourth don't even know it. Okay, mm -hmm. now, but now this program, I want to really zero in on awareness because we would never have the motivation to fight if we don't, if we're not aware that there's an enemy out there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Once we understand that there's an enemy out there, then we have awareness to fight the enemy. Okay. So I want to bring more of an awareness of those who may not even know that they are either a pre-diabetic or a diabetic. Mm -hmm. Awareness. So 30 million people are diabetic, one fourth don't know it. Now here's the thing. Of those who are pre-diabetic, that's close to 90 million. Mm. Mm. Nine out of 10 people don't know it. Mm. So therefore, what we're going to do is, 
And uh, there's a lot of tests out there on the market, uh, on the web, uh, internet, that will give you a diabetes risk assessment to mm -hmm. see whether or not you're at a high risk. And I've t taken some of these tests. And let me just say this. Now, some of these tests are good, but we feel that uh, these tests can be improved upon mm. because one of, a couple of tests I took, I'm at a high risk. Because mm. mm. number one, I'm a male. Mm -hmm. Things I can't change. Well, yeah. some people think they can change. Well, yeah, that's, that's another topic. Yeah, well, anyway, let's yeah, just let's stay with, okay, that. Yeah, that, yeah. So a male, a male has a higher rate of diabetes. So being a male, that's number one. I can't change that. Number two, I'm going to put this out here. I'm over 60. Uh-oh. That, that gives me yeah, mercy. Okay, that's okay. not making a big deal out of that. Yeah. Let me just keep rolling. Oh, no, he look. doesn't look a day over 75. <laughs> I wouldn't guess the day over. See, I knew you were going to say something about that. I wasn't sure how it was going to come out. But let me just I keep wasn't rolling. I not either, but yeah, I do well. Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. Uh, good, uh, I'm sorry, just, you look good. Just okay. cut that. Good. Just, no, we, this is live, okay? Anyway, okay, okay. But so being over 60 puts you at a high risk. I have no choice of mm -hmm. changing my age. African American. Hispanic and Asians at a higher risk. So Guess you're going to tell us you're black too, right? Uh, or African American, whichever you choose. Oh, okay. I can be either one. Okay, just yeah. you know whatever. You just pick one of those. Okay. okay, so that's three. Okay, now the fourth one. Now, now hold on to your seat for this one. The fourth one, based on the body mass index, I am overweight. What? What? Uh, please take the camera off of me right now. <laughs> if you're like, like, if I, I, I knew that he'll probably, you know, kind yeah. of suck it in a little oh, bit. I yeah. Hardly breathe right now. <laughs> but then I want you to breathe because you're going to pass out. So just Oof. breathe. Okay. Yeah, because you're going to pass out. Just, okay. okay. You're, okay. You're good. So I'm over 25, you know, body mass index. But that has some drawbacks because that does not take in account of muscle mass. Oh, there mm -hmm. you go. Being a bodybuilder, so that, so I'm overweight, black, male, over 60. Mm. I'm in a high risk. And we feel that that's not an accurate picture of one being at risk for diabetes. Because mm -hmm. three of those four, I have no control. Mm -hmm. So we come up with our own Five questions, okay. simple five questions. And each question can really move the needle towards increasing one's risk of being either a pre-diabetic or a diabetic. Five questions. Mm. And one point for each question if you answer yes to each of these five okay. questions, all right? So, and then we'll make a little comment on that, and then we have some uh, in other information before we close out. Mm. So, let's go to the screen. Let's go to question number one, diabetes risk assessment. For females, if your waist is 35 inches mm. or more, or for males, if your waist is 40 <laughs> inches or more, give yourself one point. All Yay, right? Hey, I didn't get one on that one. One point. Okay, but well, there's four more questions. So, oh, anyway. No. What is those? That's why I was making a big deal out of the first one. Because I may not be able to say, hey, wonderful. Out now, of this. the reason why, and talk a little bit about what we did at uh, the Winning Way, honey, about trying to see belly fat. Uh -oh. it's, see, it's not just your overall weight, it's more particularly visceral fat, or better known as belly fat. Now I quit preaching and went to meddling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. That will increase one's risk of either a pre-diabetic mm -hmm. or a diabetic, because all this fat around here, where the organs are, including your uh, pancreas, <laughs> it causes inflammation and really increase insulin resistance Put that card down in front of your stomach. <laughs> so therefore, the, the camera. Oh, you it. noticed? Yeah. I was trying to. Now, the camera's on you right now, Danny. Everybody look. Oh, it is. <laughs> okay, I, I just busted you. Yeah, so, right. you so did. now, so we just had a program at uh, First Church. Talk a little bit about that, honey. The winning way yeah. and how we emphasize how to target your belly fat mm. without doing one sit-up 
or any crunches. Okay. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, that was the reason why we got so many people who yeah, joined that's true. the program. <laughs> when Curtis said, you don't have to worry about no sit-ups, you don't have to do any burpees, none of that kind of stuff. We're going to get your waistlines down. Okay. People said, sign me up for that class. I'm ready to go, you know. Mm -hmm. But we had about 68 <laughs> people that signed up. Yeah. Okay. Seven weeks straight, they were with us every, every Tuesday for seven weeks. And Curtis could not wait to show them how they could actually uh, lower the belly fat in their stomach, and everybody was on the floor. Oh, yeah. Not, not that I need it, but I'm really interested <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, we, we may demonstrate. I can do it right here. No, 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 right no, 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 no. That's okay. He, That's okay. No, Kurt, we have been in conventions, people in suits, women in dresses, and Curtis has talked about how to do, can I go ahead and say what it's called? Planking? Yes. Planking? Yeah, it's, Planking. well, no. Yeah. Okay, and believe it or not, they are on the floor. At, oh. at, the, at the conventions, <laughs> ladies and men on the floor. I'm like, I don't believe you guys. He jumps down first, and then they all jump down. They're all down here trying to see how long they can actually hold themselves up, okay? Mm -hmm. While he you, does it. You're using the weight of your body mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the gravity that God put on earth, yes. okay. and you put it together. Mm -hmm. So therefore, in the hotels, whatever, wherever you are, there, there's always gravity. There's always weight on your body, so therefore you can hold yourself up. And the gravity wants to pull you down to the floor. Mm -hmm. So when you upheld yourself off the floor, the muscles are engaged, and also your core, including yeah. your legs and your arms as well. That's, so that, that's tough for me for a bit, because like here's me on trying to on the floor on my stomach. I do like this. <laughs> I get dizzy. Uh, right now I'm gonna have to, you know, yeah. I rock back you're and forth. But back and forth. I want to get where you're flat, right? Yes. Well, right. You're, you're actually you're actually using your elbows and your feet are straight up. So you're actually okay. in a level position when you begin. And but then gravity is what's trying to actually yeah. make you okay. go down. So you begin to feel it so your body starts to shake. All right. Mm -hmm. And the goal is to do it, uh, have that I'll stand that. for five minutes. Yeah. Oh, for five okay. minutes. Yeah. So I got up to six minutes. Uh, after right about the fifth, that? yeah, the oh, sixth my. minute, I mean, oh. I am soaking yeah, wet. Right. Yeah. I mean, really? I am drenched. Just six minutes. Hold wow. it. I am drenched. But so I'm confused. So you're, you're lying straight? You're on the floor, on your elbows, like in, in your, on your toes. Just hold that back. pose. Oh, on your toes. Okay. Right, on your toes. Yeah, gotcha. and hold that position. Okay. Okay. He was wanting to show you. She's trying no, no, to hold no, no, him back a little bit. No, he yeah. was ready to jump out there and do it. Yeah. <laughs> but the bottom line is that people who began the class with us began to lose their belly fat in the seven weeks we were together. Love they began it. talking about the disease they had yes. from not even being able to sleep, high blood pressure, problem with their heart, their wow. cholesterol. Everything in seven weeks began to change because mm -hmm. the whole okay. program was not just about the planking, but lifestyle changes. They had to practice each week they came. We gave them another another challenge. We called it a oh, challenge. Okay. And they went through the challenges through the entire time, and we mm -hmm. had amazing response. Well, we know, mm -hmm. we know, we know. When we talk about the health message and we talk about lifestyle, we're mm -hmm. talking again about what God has said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we go to the Word of God. They actually take, they actually do a track when they first start off with us mm -hmm. about the whole Bible. The Amazing what it says Facts about health. health track, the okay. one on health, okay. the Amazing mm -hmm. Facts track number 10. Mm -hmm. And then as we move our way through, all the way through, believe it or not, to the very end, when we get to their resting, we talk about the Sabbath day. Okay. Mm -hmm. So That's we had incorporated 12, into that. 12 nice. people in there that were Absolutely. from the community, and we get a chance to really talk about the Lord and the Sabbath mm -hmm. and the resting and what goes on. So it's, okay. it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. So, that's question number one. So if your waist, again, like okay. a lot of men okay. have their fat here, mm. women in their hips. That's why there's mm. a disparity. Women 35 inches, men 40 inches or more mm. I have a higher risk of either prediabetes or diabetes. That's question number okay. one. Okay, right. let's go to question number two. Second question. I consume flesh foods on a regular Basis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass now, that one too. I don't. Right. No, no. Okay, okay. Let me explain the rules again. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe so, a little uh, bit of fish once yeah, in a while, but not. Yeah, yeah. But on a regular basis. Yeah. Regular. This is based on the Adventist Health Study. Yeah. Uh, done where those who eat more flesh foods, non vegetarians, mm -hmm. have a higher degree of prediabetes and diabetes okay. because of the fat content. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a journal that came out, the European Journal of Nutrition, just last month, all right, mm -hmm. uh, discovered that those who had, uh, had more meat in their diet, processed meat, 
mm -hmm. had an increased risk of gestational diabetes. Wow. So the link is clear because of the fat uh, content. And let's talk okay. about the fat yourselves, honey. Well, you know, we, one of the things that blows everybody's minds when we talk about diabetes is the fact that we say, people say, well, I know that uh, I do a lot of sugar and I, I guess that's going to cause me to be a diabetic. And then they learn in the class that really and truly it's not just the sugar, it's the fat mm -hmm. that you're taking in. That's right. Because okay. the fat actually coats the cell that's so right. that the mm. insulin can't do what it's supposed to do to bring the actual uh, sugar okay. into the cell itself for energy. They are shocked. Mm -hmm. Of course, every now and then somebody says, does that mean I can go back and eat my cake? No, it does not mean that. <laughs> It just means that understanding that that fat is a, a major component of diabetes. Okay. That was excellent, honey. You that did was a wonderful good. job. That was wonderful. You, you know, okay. I think that people don't realize the seriousness of diabetes. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that people kind of take it lightly, but you can become an amputee, you can have organ failure, right. neuropathy, mm -hmm. you know, optical uh, eye problems, right. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, blindness. Right. Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. all these different right. things that can come as a result of this. So what you're teaching yes. is important, it's so important. Yes, it is, the definite article, it is the leading cause of kidney failure. Mm -hmm. mm. It is the leading cause of adult blindness. I used to work in a hospital, wow. surgery, uh, leading cause of amputations. Mm -hmm. uh, people come in, we will them into the hospital, uh, surgical suite, and grown men with tears in their eyes. Uh, we're going to take off either the big toe, mm. half a foot, at the ankle, below the knee, or above the e knee, in that order. Okay. And I, it's an eerie feeling to have a foot or a leg after yeah. surgical procedure before I hand it sure. off to the circulating nurse. Yeah. You know, and they just hand a, a certain stitch, he sews it up, and I, I cannot do a PowerPoint presentation in an operating yeah. suite. It's too late for that. Mm -hmm. So that's why we want to bring more awareness, because people okay. who are listening right now, half of the people who are listening now to this program is either a pre-diabetic or a diabetic. Half. Mm. Wow. Flip a coin. That's the okay. interest. Is. Okay, now, yeah. let's go to the third question. All right. All right? I don't routinely engage in any type of physical activity. If that's yeah, true, okay. add one more point. So so I'm good. okay. All right, one oh, more Lord. point. Yeah, so, good. therefore, because if we... In if people do not engage in physical activity, there's going to be a higher risk of either prediabetes or diabetes. Mm -hmm. So the recommendation is 150 minutes per week, mm -hmm. 30 minutes a day, five days a week, off weekends. All right. Does that include just brisk walking? Okay, now, good point. And the, the emphasis is on, yes, Danny, it's not just walking. Emphasis is on brisk walking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that creates more of a metabolic effect on blood sugar levels, brisk walking. So people who are not doing that, mm -hmm. then they're going to have a higher risk of diabetes. And like the statement goes, if a parent is a couch potato, uh -oh. what do you call the children, honey? Tater tots. <laughs> So, the pen, okay, okay, oh, it wasn't that funny. Okay, it, was, just, it was funny. It was. It was funny. Yeah, it was kind of funny, it wasn't it? Yeah, I do have to laugh. Yeah, okay, see, so was good. living with her so long. So anyway, so, so activity. So if you're inactive, then add one more point. Mm -hmm. Each of these questions can move the needle by themselves. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the next question. Uh, Here we go. I'm worried about this 60 and over business. Uh -huh. I go to bed after... 11 p.m. Uh, on most Can we nights. maybe take that one off? <laughs> I, I knew it. See, see, see. Can we take that off a little bit tonight? <sighs> I think it hurts so good. Okay, Man, see, and, and we can even say, got you. and I, I, would even, I would even say if it's after 12 o'clock, I had two points. Now, here's the reason oh. why. Here's the reason why. The, 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 see, there's a lot of talk about diabetes and management of diabetes. The two main areas is Diet and exercise, diet and exercise, diet and exercise. The third leg now has been emerging is diet, exercise, and sleep. That's right. Mm -mm -mm. That's right. And sleep. That's now the third component with the diet and exercise. Yeah, so therefore, uh, one night of partial sleep, six hours or less, Mm -hmm. can increase your risk of diabetes type 2 by over 200%. Mm -hmm. Partial mm -hmm. sleep. That's why over 11, uh, 11 o'clock later, then simply add one point. 
Mm. Wow, I struggle that by that one. A lot of people think oh, of diet and exercise, right. but not over, they overlook not having sleep. It's not just yeah. the amount of hours that you sleep, but also the quality of sleep. Yeah. That can also impact insulin resistance, all right? Yeah. We talk about, what we're we talking about in our yeah. winning way, honey? In a winning way, when we, well, the first day had to close the kitchen down at 6 o'clock. Yeah. That was the first thing that yeah. made them say, ouch. Mm -hmm. And then the second one was go to bed stressing them, telling they had to go to bed at a decent mm -hmm. time. Now that was the other thing. Those, remember now, seven weeks, so they had to practice different things each time they came to yes. us. And that's when we saw the miracles of people saying, you know, I started going to bed, I closed the kitchen down, mm -hmm. and I'm really feeling a lot better. I'm not as stressed out. You know, if you don't get enough sleep, you got an attitude the next day. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the whole office complex got attitudes mm -hmm. the next day. So the bottom line is that when you go to sleep and get the right amount of sleep, you just feel better. You're more yes. energized. That's yeah, true. You do. Okay. Now, question number oh, five. Oh, man. You just, just, <laughs> that is, I'm, I'm worried and stressed about question number five. <laughs> I'm constantly feeling stressed <laughs> and worried. That, okay. <laughs> he didn't see these questions until right now, so believe me. Okay, now, add yourself one more point, all right? So, stress, the stress hormone, cortisol, because of a lack of sleep, causes us to be more stressed. Mm -hmm. See, some of these are kind of linked together. Okay. And if we stay up later at night, we add more weight. All these kind of interrelated, and usually we're not exercising. I mean, they're all connected. And notice, all five of these questions that we have a part to play in. Mm -hmm. Unlike your age, your race, and your gender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have no control over that. These five you do. That's why okay. we pick these uh, five. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we're talking about, I don't care about, because some of these questions are like if you have a family member, brother, sister, mother, father, whatever, uh, that's genetics. Due to lifestyle, we, there's a term called epigenetics, mm -hmm. which we can alter how the genes respond. So yeah. I'm not so much interested in who's diabetic in your family, mm -hmm. but what you do as far as your lifestyle, okay. which you can override your family sure. genetics. That's right. That's why these five questions. So at one point, if you stress, worry, and these five points. Now, here's the thing. Uh, so add up the score. Mm -hmm. uh, one point, low risk. Two points, moderate risk. Three points, high risk. Mm -hmm. mm. Four points, very high. Mm. If you answer yes to all five questions, extremely high. Mm. And we suggest, and this is on our website, this test, AbundantLivingTV.org, on our website. And so we encourage those individuals, uh, three point four and five points, really get tested uh, by your healthcare professional, mm -hmm. uh, either um, uh, fasting glucose or A1C, mm -hmm. that kind of thing as well. So uh, that's why we want to bring some awareness okay. to those who are watching that they may be already a pre-diabetic or a diabetic and don't even know about it, but now we're bringing some awareness to that as well. Thing. How did you do on it? I, I did pretty well. You did Praise pretty the well. Lord. Yeah, I don't think sleep. I got the sleep. The and sleep. Just, just I, I'm not good at the sleep. I, I get I get to bed yeah. way too late. Yeah. But uh, everything else, I think, mm -hmm. by the grace okay. of God. Yeah, yeah. Stress and well. worry. My my dad used to say, he'd say, "Son, don't you worry about anything." And I'd say, "No, am I supposed to?" He said, "I don't." And then he'd say, "I don't think he's got enough sense to be worried." About <laughs> Thing. And uh, so I, I really, you know, I'm, I'm really thankful. That's a blessing. It's a gift, actually, because I, I really don't lose sleep. People can say all kinds of things about mm -hmm. me. They write stuff. They do things. Mm -hmm. But I never lose sleep about it. Now, I stay up later than I should a lot of times. Right. Mm -hmm. But I really try not to, to stress about anything mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's in the Lord's hands. Mm -hmm. And I can only do so much. So, Lord, this ministry is yours. Mm -hmm. uh, so I try not to stress, but I try to laugh a lot. Right, and mm -hmm. have that's, a good that's time. Good. I know yeah. you do too. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, laughing is great medicine for sure. Right. But so those of you at home, I hope you're kind of going over this test yourself. And we want to encourage you to contact the Aikens. We want to put up their dress in a bit, but uh, you contact them because they've got a, a literally a, a mountains of information that's mm -hmm. to help you mm -hmm. and and uh, to live healthier, happier, and longer life. And we can do that. Everybody here, if you said we're a vapor, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's born to die, so to speak, in this earth. But 
while we're here, we want to be healthy and happy because if I have a bad cold, I'm not a very good witness because I'm too mm -hmm. crabby. That's you know, right. I mean, things like that happen. doesn't have to be serious, as you mentioned it earlier, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. if you don't get enough sleep, then mm -hmm. so we want you to contact the Aikens if you want them to come to your area to, to minister to you. If you want information that they have, I'm sure they have, well, I know they have lots of information to, to help you. So we'd like to put up an address, but before we do that, I know the first hour, now the second hour, what are you going to be doing? Okay, honey. Well, on the second hour, we're actually going to be doing Indian cuisine. That's mm. going to be the recipes okay. we're going to be using. Um, uh, I always say under my my kind of my direction not so necessary sometimes people say well that's not really the way we do it in India or in Japan but so it's Paula's version of Indian <laughs> cuisine all right <laughs> and then we've got a real big surprise you know yeah. because we've just got finished talking about the fact that we are uh, 20 years at 3 ABN so yeah we have a surprise at the end the cooking part that we okay. will be introducing oh. but I like the fact of what you mentioned about trying to get a hold of us because what's going on is that we now have an upcoming conference Conference that we're going to be doing okay. in Huntsville at the Embassy Suites um, that's going to be one to actually bring awareness about diabetes to Good. the community. Maybe we can put that up. We can put it on the graphic. screen. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, May 2nd. We're taking this outside the church, Danny, uh, Yvonne, at the Embassy Suites downtown Huntsville, next to the okay. Von Braun Civic Center. Yeah. Right. And our, our senior pastor, Pastor W.S. Snell, he'll be a part of that as well. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, no charge, free and open to the public. Wow. And uh, May 2nd on the Tuesday, they can register uh, on our website, AbundantLivingTV.org, either morning session or evening session, mm -hmm. all right? Okay. That's one. And then the second thing we have later on, which is the... Uh, wow. Retreat. In October, every, every year in October, this is about our fifth time coming in, mm -hmm. we actually have a retreat, a health retreat. Come outside and rest a while. Okay. This is a beautiful place mm -hmm. um, that we actually go to every year. And this year we're going to be talking about defeating diabetes as well. Mm -hmm. And we're excited because of all the food we prepare ourselves, lots of resting. The scenery is absolutely knocked down, drag out. Gorgeous. Now, the word right. knock down and drag out, that means that's good for interpretation. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I just right. like to interpret things yeah, for yeah, her. Yeah, for uh -huh. sure. Yeah. For sure. So, both can go ahead and register at our Abundant Living TV. .org for either one of those two events. Mm -hmm. The retreat, the Defeating Diabetes Retreat is more in detail. Workbooks, certified fitness instructor, I mean, lodging, everything. So and that one's uh, not free. One, yeah, that's not free. The that's first one free. is. The, yeah. the one we're doing on May is a free, open to the public. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yes. Good. And what we'll do, you've given us that, but later, the next hour before we end, we we'll end. actually put it up on the okay. screen. Okay. Yes. Right. But we just want to thank you guys again for mm -hmm. so much for what you do. Yeah. Now, you're here. You're an ND also. Yes. ND. So here I'm kind of out of my league right now. No, you've been, you've been doing we, we, but, I yes. asked, we but I asked one really good question. I said a brisk walk, and he said, yeah, yeah. Said, yeah. yeah. So, right. yeah, yeah. Because I said brisk. I don't that's know why right. I said brisk. It's not my vocabulary. But <laughs> yeah, but that's, I think that's she true. was whispering to me, brisk, <laughs> brisk. So it would make me sound like I'm part of the conversation, <laughs> a little bit intelligent about this. Oh, you know? great. So, uh, no, I, I appreciate you guys mm -hmm. so much. We love you, mm -hmm. and yes. uh, we, we pray for you, and I know you have viewers around the world who support you mm. and only when you get to heaven mm. we, it'll take an eternity because people yes. will continually yes. come up and say thank you Curtis and Paula for yes. what you've done yes. for the cause of God I'm here today mm -hmm. because of you yes. we're gonna have to take a short break we'll be back in just a moment Welcome back to 3 Ben Today Live and the cooking program. We had a nice discussion, uh, did we not, honey, the first oh, yeah, hour with uh, Danny and Yvonne. And, and our 20 years. Yes, all right. Now, you may be wondering, wait a minute, they changed. <laughs> yeah, we slipped into something more comfortable. comfortable. Yes, uh, so you want to go into the kitchen with a suit and tie and suit coat and your oh, dress, you change your top and everything like yeah, that. Yeah. I'll let you dress first, then I match you. That's, That's right. how it works. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, also our aprons as well. Yep. And I'm glad you have your apron on because I remember one time before I had on Curtis and you had on Paula and nobody bothered to sell us yeah. anything. And was not on purpose. No, yeah. it wasn't. That was 
a mistake, but uh, nobody <laughs> caught that. We didn't get any emails on that. No as well. emails, no emails. All right, yeah. So uh, remember, Danny mentioned about uh, we have registration. For those who are interested in the Defeating Diabetes, uh, there's two events we have. One is the conference. This is for those who are in, in the Huntsville, Alabama area. North Alabama is at the Embassy Suites Hotel, and that's the 1 800 number. 732-7587, that's 732-7587, or that's during the regular business hours, or you can go to our website, AbundantLivingTV.org, that's AbundantLivingTV.org, and you must register. Now, this is a free event, Defeating Diabetes Conference there in the Huntsville area, uh, MC Suites, downtown Huntsville, next to the Von Braun Civic Center, but again, uh, just go to the website, and uh, click on to the Feeding Diabetes Conference and uh, you get that information as far as that's concerned. And the first 50 people who register yes. will be allowed to have their reserved seating right there. We're gonna cover a lot of things about diabetes, carbohydrates, herbal medicine, sleep, et cetera, all right? And we forgot to say it is free. Free and open free to, the, first to 50? the public. That's, that's right. right, that's right. Now those that's may right. be wondering, so well, I don't really live in Huntsville, mm -hmm. Alabama. I live in some places other than Huntsville. So what can we have for those individuals uh, as far as that's concerned? I'm huh? glad you asked because for that program, we actually have, this is our fifth year, mm -hmm. a health retreat. And the health retreat will be featuring Defeating diabetes. diabetes, all right. right. Now, this particular one is very, very good. It is going to be at Camp McDowell. All the information is on the flyer that you're seeing in front of you. And once again, it is a weekend. It's from Friday and it's over on Sunday. It is a beautiful mm. place, all yes. right? Really nice uh, facilities. We always do it in October. That's why there's right. autumn colors out there. The weather is very, very nice, mm -hmm. you know. And so this this year, we're actually going to be doing the one called um, Defeating Diabetes. Okay, and so that's the health retreat. That's going to give more information about uh, diabetes and, of course, the 1-800 number during the regular business hours or simply go to our AbundantLivingTV.org website and you see the upcoming events and just click on Defeating Diabetes Retreat. That's in October, first weekend in October. Mm -hmm. Just outside of uh, Birmingham, Alabama, those who want to fly in, about 45 minutes from uh, Birmingham. And it's going to be more in depth uh, information on uh, defeating diabetes. Uh, we have a physical fitness instructor coming in and uh, cooking uh, class and uh, workbooks and a lot of information for us that whole weekend. That's more in depth. Uh, yeah. that weekend for the I, retreat. I think too the main thing is that you know you don't have to be a diabetic to come to class and the bottom line is that if you just need some time to come mm. aside and, and rest, rest a while come on out and be with us at the retreat it is absolutely a fantastic mm. weekend. Yeah. And again that retreat also the first 50 people who register. But that has of a course cost. that's a cost. That's <laughs> a cost to that one. Yeah. So but the whole weekend lodging meals etc and the price is fantastic. Uh, now yeah. we have a special price for the health directors of the South Central Conference in the mm -hmm. local churches mm -hmm. because they're special. But yes. everybody else have the regular price. Everything is right there on the website. All right, so now let's go to our uh, cooking recipes. Um, well, you know, kind of, along, with, uh, kind of, along with the whole thing about lifestyle and also those who might be diabetic, pre-diabetic or whatever, we always gonna keep plant-based in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. All right, plant-based. So let's look exactly at what we're actually fixing today. Okay. We're doing a coconut curry tofu. Mm -hmm. Spicy oven-baked vegetables. Okay. Lebanese pita bread, cashew, sour cream. Mmm, okay. And even though we have not said anything as of yet. We have not said anything. As of yet. But as of yet. We already talked with Danny earlier, him and Yvonne, you know, about our 20-year celebration. I could not believe that they actually had pictures and, and back in the day. And those clips back, back I mean, in the day. like. Back in the day. I had a, almost anyway. had a big afro, but yeah, those, anyway. those are, they went back for. They went all the way back. Quite a bit. What, yes, 19 years? <laughs> yeah, that's true. But the bottom line is that we have a special, special uh, surprise that we have at the end of the program. So you have to stay by and make sure that you stay by with your paper and your pencil to write down things and also to see the ending of this program. Okay, special surprise. Yes. All right, okay. Yes. So let's uh, go to our uh, recipe that you already called it out. And uh, so. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, 
coconut curry tofu. It calls for one 16 ounce water packed tofu, extra firm, one teaspoon of sea salt, three tablespoons of olive oil, one red pepper, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, one orange pepper, one teaspoon of cumin ground, one medium onion sliced, one teaspoon of curry powder, four garlic cloves chopped, one teaspoon of coriander ground, four scallions chopped, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one and one half cup of coconut milk, one half teaspoon of ginger ground, and three tablespoons of fresh cilantro leaves. Now I can tell you right now, <laughs> this dish will not be bland. It will not be bland whatsoever. Absolutely. It is a real good one, mm. one other one that I've actually developed it. Uh, I've seen this recipe out there in, in the past with a uh, chicken, mm -hmm. and okay. we're gonna do it with tofu. All right. And I do wanna say, if you've been watching 3ABN, you know that whenever I do the tofu the extra firm, I always uh, take the extra firm tofu, and I take the entire thing, and I just bring it home and put it straight into the freezer. So it at least has to be 20 24 hours that it okay. freezes in the freezer, changes the texture of the tofu so that it has more of a texture like that of chicken, all right? Mm -hmm. And then when I take it out, I actually just wrapped it in, once again, the paper towel, all right? And I'm just gonna take the paper towel off of it. If I can get it off, I can. Yes, I can. Let's just go ahead and do it, yeah. Okay. All righty. So now all the water has been pressed All the water out. is off of it. Okay, and you can see it's spongy. Mm -hmm. Okay, not like the regular tofu. You right. might see okay. that's actually different. And All because right. of the fact we're going to be doing kind of like a mock, a mock chicken, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start slicing it into pieces. I usually do about eight of these. All right. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here. now this is the one that comes in a water pack. This is water pack, extra firm. Extra firm, because okay. they have firm, extra firm, but this is extra yeah. firm. Your extra firm has less water, okay. right? But you still gotta freeze it to All get right. that texture. Then I'm just gonna cut it in half, okay? okay. And then I'm gonna do, do some chunks. Oh, okay. Like so, okay? Mm -hmm. In half, and then All chunks. Right. If you see, you can see the actual air holes in it. Right, uh-huh. All right? Okay. It's very quick and very easy. It makes about between 24 and 36 cubes. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And this is what's going to be actually simulating that of chicken in the actual product itself. All right? Now, I know it calls for a lot of ingredients, uh, but basically, most of the stuff you already have in their yes. cupboards. All mm -hmm. right? The only thing I think might be different, maybe phenol. Phenol and uh, I think orange pepper. What, did uh, you mention? No, that's going to be actually the other part of this recipe. Okay. Right now, in this part here, the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to actually take, now, once again, Curtis, once we've actually I said actually more than one time. Yeah, about but once several, we, but... Once we've done that, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to, because I've, I've actually gotten most of all the water of it, we're going to actually take this, turn my skillet on, because we're going to brown this tofu. All oh, right? okay. Now, if it's still a lot of water in it, you can't do this, all right? So let's just go ahead and turn this on. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put my oil. Now, it's three tablespoons of olive oil in this recipe, but we're not using all of it at one time because there's different things we're going to be doing. So, so this is only one of... tablespoon starting off with, and that's so that we can actually uh, brown the tofu itself. All right? Whoops. Okay. Made... Okay, sorry about that. All right. So you see all the pieces? You get all the pieces. It's okay. like little bite-sized pieces. This is pieces. just one container right here. That's just one container, and it makes all these, all right? We have a lot of recipes we can actually do with tofu, but this one here, I'm trying to simulate that of chicken. Okay? All right. So once we get that going, I'll turn it up a little bit more. Okay, and then I'll turn it down in a little bit. I'm going to take our spatula and just move it around a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to go ahead on and start putting in the tofu. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah. Okay. Right. okay, and so the name of the we're game gonna is we're going to need this again. Yeah, because we got quite a bit more stuff to okay. do. Now, you know, one of the things I've done with this, and that is, we can use a wok to actually make this whole thing up, mm -hmm. and you have to actually go through all the different stages. So once I get done with the tofu and it's turned that brown color, then I'm going to take that out of this pan and I'm going to set it over to the side because the very next thing we have to do is we've got to actually bring all those herbs to life. Right. All okay. Right? So the phenol, uh, turmeric coriander, curry, all of those are part of that. 
Okay? Okay. And so that's going to be our next thing we're going to do. And then, of course, you know, we talked about some other uh, ingredients that go in this recipe. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a part of it. And it's going to end with coconut milk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. You're going to be working uh -huh. it. You're mm -hmm. going to be working it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, so you can let that brown for a little bit before you start We're going to let it brown. We're going to brown it on, on, on all those different sides there. It doesn't take that long for it to brown, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, you know, we were talking about that whole thing about diabetes, which is very, very prevalent. Um, uh, some of the states actually are more prevalent as far as having uh, diabetes is concerned. But I like the conference because it's not so much that um, we, we're really after that individual who does not know. See, that, that's the key, who does not know. And like I said before, um, about 90 million are pre-diabetic, mm. 90 million. 90% 90 don't know it. And of course, you're pre-diabetic, you know, there's an increased risk of becoming a diabetic as well. So one way to defeat it is to hit it off before one becomes a diabetic. So uh, that's why we have those five questions. Mm, mm. And so if you have three, four, or five, then you're at a high risk of becoming either, being either a pre-diabetic or a diabetic. So that's why those five questions, and those five questions, uh, that test is also on our website as well, AbundantLivingTV.org. And uh, so if you rate it rather high on that, uh, those five questions, then we really suggest that you contact your uh, physician um, care and have your uh, fasting glucose test or, and or A1C, because both are necessary. And uh, in the conference and also in the retreat, we talk about the testing as well. Um, you know, A1C is the gold standard by the American Diabetes Association since kind of, 2010. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there are some drawbacks to the A1C. And what is that? Well, people need to know about that. Uh. See, although it's the gold standard, it does have some drawbacks. And uh, so that's why we say have your fasting glucose test and A1C. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. together you have a more definitive way of determining your uh, diabetes status. As well, you well. can see that the tofu is now yeah, so browning getting up brown on the now. side. All right. And uh, we're not going to get them real, real brown. Now, the other thing I like about this recipe, Curtis, is that because of the air holes that you actually saw in the tofu itself, we changed the texture yeah. of what it looked like. But as because of air holes, when these seasonings go in mm -hmm. and all the other ingredients in this recipe, it sinks into the actual tofu itself. Right, so it gives okay. that flavor okay. that needs to be there as well, all right? Okay. So this does not take that long, but I will say once again, if you do not freeze the tofu ahead of time and then actually pull out as much of the liquid as you can, you will not be able to get the same texture that you're actually seeing here. You get more of a, well, the texture will be different. Well, you'll have a lot of water in it and it's going to stick to your pan. I see. Okay. The water's going to be still present, mm -hmm. lots of it. Okay. It's going to stick to your pants. So you will never be able to get that browning effect you see right there. Yes. All right? Okay. All right. Okay. Just a couple more of these. And I got my spices over there. And what's okay. going to happen is I'm going to take in a hot sec. That's a hot minute. Okay. I'm going to start putting in. I'm not going to put them in here with the tofu because I'm going to take the tofu out. Okay, so you can kind of see it's got that brown color brown a going bit. on. Okay, yes, okay. kind of like a, I call it like a golden brown color mm. is what I like to see when I do this recipe because I give the illusion. Remember, all of our cooking is the illusion, mm -hmm. the illusion mm -hmm. of meat, mm -hmm. right? Okay, and okay. if it's just that kind of white color, it'll be like chicken is not done. Right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take these out. I'm going to sit them. Oh, you're going to put it right in here. In the bowl there. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now, how did this recipe come about, honey? Well, I've been doing a tofu thing by itself for a while. But when we talk about, like, this show is actually more of an a Indian kind of a, a cuisine, as I call it. When I say Indian cuisine, sometimes on our shows, we actually do different cultures. And every now and then, someone will call in and say, we don't do it like that. <laughs> so this is Paula's version. Paula's version. Paula and Curtis's version. Okay. Of the Indian cuisine. Well, th this is this is your version, and I will be eating your version. You eat my version. Yes. Okay. Now on this one, Curtis, this is when we get to get those oh the spices going. Here come the spices. All right. So you can start putting in first those fennel seeds. Yeah. 
Okay, phenol seeds, phenol seeds going in. all right. Now, honey, when you right tell me the about these, everything is centered. When you tell me about these spices. This is what two of these look have. alike. I know. The so turmeric, the coriander. Turmeric, coriander. Curry. Go ahead and put those in too. So I don't know which one is which. Just go ahead and start putting them in. I'm gonna I, turn let this me down just a yeah, hold up. Let me turn this down a little bit more. Okay. I make sure I don't want to burn anything. Okay, you can go ahead and just put that in. So this is. I'm not sure what that is. That's curry. Curry. All so right. this must be turmeric. That's turmeric. Okay. How do you tell? Right. The, well, one's a little bit. I lighter. can tell the difference in this. Yeah, the okay. This is a little bit different in color. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. And now that's coriander. Which one? This, this one. one? This Coriander. one? Okay, yeah. Let's put that in. Little. Okay, let's move it faster, honey, because we, we can't. Oh. Okay, move them in. Oh. That's all we're doing? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're getting them ready. And then this. Woo, smell I don't know. that what, smell. What is this? Whatever okay, we got. Is. And that's ginger. Yeah, ginger. All right, okay. So we got all these going. And you just kind of, that smell is going to mm -hmm. go, it's going to go, it's going to go. Now, I want you, I'm going to move this over because the next step to this is, uh, and it has a couple little things you got to do. I'm going to move it back. Because the next step you're gonna do is we're gonna actually begin to saute the vegetables that's gonna go in this dish as well. All okay. right? So if you will bring those vegetables over. Oh, okay. And I'm not gonna put these back in there until we get done. So we got that tofu ready to go. And we're gonna need that cutting board. And you probably need to get that bigger cutting board, babe. Okay. Get the bigger one. All right, so we got our coconut milk. What is it? Oh, okay. I'm going to get the bigger one. We got the garlic. We got the salt. Okay, we got the onions. And what I'm going to do is, since I've already got the onions going, I'm going to go ahead and put the onions in. Okay. Use my spatula. Want me to start cutting these? Um... Yeah, you're going to do those um, peppers. We got the orange peppers, the red peppers. They're going to go Cube or what? Yeah. Kind of larger piece. Don't make them real thin. Oh, okay. Kind of large. Okay. And then while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead on and get the scallions together because they go in this recipe as well. And I should have a second. Did I already use it? It's going to be a colorful dish, too. Oh, I know where it is. I can say I know I had this. So to keep from me cutting you, I'm gonna just bring this forward. To keep from cutting me. Yeah, I wanna make sure that when I'm doing this. Oh, okay. But now I'm getting ready to do the scallions. They're gonna go right. in too. This is a very colorful dish, and um, I love Indian food. We both do. Yes, we do. Yeah. So we're now gonna put these in as well. So the onions and the different colored peppers are all gonna go in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the onions in. I'm gonna turn the fire back on. And, um, are these big enough chunks, honey? Yes, that's big, that's good. That's exactly what I want. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put some more of the oil in also now. Okay, ready for this? No, let me, oh. hold up a minute. Let me, All right. let me finish this off here. Okay, and then you know before, we talked before about the fact that you're not gonna put that garlic in until almost later because when garlic hits, especially something that's already hot, it will also turn the entire recipe to a bitter texture. But check that out. And oh, these okay. Onions, these are onions and also mm. the uh, scallions combination. That brown, oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's going together. It can smell, smell smells mm -hmm. good, smells good, okay. smells good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead on and put in, well, let's go ahead and hold on that. Let's go ahead and put those in. Okay. That, yeah. yeah, all right, we're gonna put those in next. Go ahead, baby. Let's see if we can get them. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -mm. Okay, well, that okay, was close. okay, okay. Okay. That's why I got the big one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh huh, and uh huh, and uh huh. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Okay. Hundred percent. We all good. We all good. Okay. Now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Okay. Now. Okay. It's gonna be colorful. Yes. Now, and now you can add, you can add to this any co color. Like I like the orange mm -hmm. and, and the red peppers. Mm -hmm. um, you can also do, um, do yellow. Green? Yellow. I wouldn't do green because green's going to give it a, a green pepper actually going to change the texture of the, of the flavor of it. So okay. I don't want to put green in. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, mm, okay. Okay. Now, Real pretty. This That's is very attractive. The That's the garlic. Garlic. That's the in last. That's last. All right. All right. Now, we've gotten all this going. I'm going to go ahead on and sprinkle on. The salt. Mm-hmm. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to go ahead really on. Good. I'm going to put in now the tofu, which has already been done. I love this dish. You smell the smell? Mm -hmm. Smell them? Okay, and now I'm going to put in the garlic. So now, if you put the garlic in, if you put sooner, the garlic in when things are hot like that, it will burn. The garlic up. will burn, and not only burn, it will give it a foul. It just taste. ruin the whole. Yeah. Dish. When it comes to cooking, I want to make sure that when you bite into something, you get each other flavor, it's not one dominating flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And so, does that smell good? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay. Now. Slowly, slowly. Slowly. You're going to go ahead on and start pouring in the uh, the uh, milk. coconut milk. Coconut milk. Okay, very slow. Very slowly. Oh, this is thick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Smell that coconut? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to give you the spatula once again. We can get all the goodies out. Okay. Okay. All the goodies out. Yeah. Okay. How's that? How's That's good. That? That's okay. good. That's good. Okay. And so you see we got all the combinations. Everything is in there. Now, one of the things I like to do, Curtis, with this one also is let's say, for instance, that you've made this recipe up. As it sits for a while and cooks, it's going to, you know, it comes to a boil, then it goes down low, and it simmers for about five or ten minutes. And let's say that it's not thick enough for you. What I do then is I take one teaspoon, and it's also in the recipe, one teaspoon of, of um, cornstarch to a half a cup of water, cold mm. water, and I stir it up, and then I slowly pour it into the mix, and it okay. will thicken this up as well, all mm -hmm. right? But because 3ABN TV, they will then see, of course, the product at the very end of the program, mm. all right? So you have it there. Mm, that is that looks marvelous. Coconut curry. Yes. Colorful. Tofu. The smell, I mean, smell if good? we had smell -o vision yeah. Oh, yeah. this will be on it, baby. This will be on it. This will be, be on, on it. it. All right. Now, we got that one going. I'm going to let that sit there for a minute. I'm going to put the top back on it, Curtis, as we get ready to look at let the very simmer. next recipe that we're going to be doing on our this program okay. itself. Okay, let's do it. And that one is called Spicy Oven Baked Vegetables. This is two parts. Marinate one third cup of fresh lemon juice, three tablespoons of olive oil, one fourth cup of onions minced, two garlic cloves minced, one tablespoon of dry basil, two teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of sea salt. This is the vegetable portion, Curtis. Two medium baking potatoes cut into chunks, one large sweet potato cut into chunks, one large zucchini cut into chunks, one medium yellow pepper cut into one inch pieces, one medium red pepper cut into one inch pieces, one large onion cut into chunks. Wow, Curtis. That's a lot that matches okay. up with all That's the That's a lot of cutting. Things. Lots of cutting. I have my knife. One of the things that I like about this is that you know, a lot of times when people cook and they're like, that's just too much stuff. But you know what? We pre-do our things. You can cut okay. your sweet potatoes up ahead of time and you can cut your potatoes up ahead of time. I got only a couple of them that I'm actually going to be doing. But basically, I fix all this up, put it in cold water, put plastic on it, put it in the refrigerator. So when it's time, okay, you're, you're ready, ready to go. go. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Okay, I know it's what such you're a, saying. It's a delicious dish. So I'm going to have you get started. Okay, you're so. Gonna, uh, go ahead and cut up. If you do the bell pepper, I'll go ahead on and. The and, onion. I mean. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, just want to make onion. sure I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> the onion, yeah, do the yeah. onion. And okay. I'm getting the, the uh, garlic ready. Okay. Okay. So, mm. that's kind of minced, but I like to have it a little bit more chunkier, like you're doing it. Okay. Okay. Now, let me just say this, too, because this is something that you do. You really wait until Sunday to do a lot of your cooking. Yes. Talk about that because a lot of people say, I don't have time. Well, one day is just really set aside for cooking. Yeah, well, I do all my cooking for the whole week. I just go ahead on and just start fixing things I know I'm going to have all week long. When I make something like rice up, I know I'm going to have rice more than one time. I don't just do the one or two cups of rice. I make the entire bag of rice up. Um, I use my crock pot, put all my beans in a crock pot all at one time. And I find if I do it that way, I call it my batch cooking, then I already have everything ready to go when it's time to go, okay? Mm -hmm. And you don't spend a lot of time in the kitchen. That's what right. I like, okay? I don't How want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. A little bit more finer than that, if you don't mind. 
Okay? No, okay. I do not mind. Okay. okay. So we got that going. And so you cook enough, uh, a, a whole quite week? a bit for the whole week, the whole uh, week. on that Sunday. Yes, yes. And uh, you can really coast for the rest of the week. You can coast for the rest of the week because Most. when Mr. Curtis is hungry, he hungry. That hungry, that's not hungry, that's hungry. Yeah, we actually changed that word the way it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You say when it's time to eat, it's time to eat. Yeah, I don't now, have baby, time to play. Just well, let's do a this. little bit more. Pull these in together like. Oh, this. a little bit more. No, no, hold up. Oh. And then just do like this. Okay, a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. Just a tad bit, a okay. tad bit more. Yeah. Okay, I don't want them to get like big old chunks of that. Uh, oh. In there. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's much better. That's better. That's better. I can't stop now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is he on a roll? Well, yeah. That was, okay. That was almost fun. Okay. Okay. All right. All now, right. If you want to, you can go ahead on. Now, now I'll tell you what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to take the seasoning we have over here. Okay. We still got more stuff to cut up. I'm going to have you put in. This is the lemon juice. Lemon juice. The olive oil. Okay. Put this in here now. All that's going in now in that dish. Put okay. this going in here now. The lemon juice and the olive oil. Mm-hmm. All right. And we're going to use basil, and we're going to do curry. Basil, oh, and I and assume curry. this is the curry. Mm -hmm. You want me to mix that up a little bit, or what? With that fork, you can mix that up. Yeah. See, and that's, once again, another now, this is smell. going to baste the vegetables? This is or? what the vegetables are going to baste in. And even though these vegetables do need to sit at least 8 to 10 minutes to get ready, what we're going to do, because once again, we're on 3ABN TV, which we do things quick, fast, in a hurry, we're going to actually uh, sh uh, not wait that whole period of time. You'll see it at the end of the program, though, okay? Come to the 3ABN kitchen. Your food will cook faster. 3ABN kitchen. All right, that's I'm going right. to have you go ahead on and put in now the onions and the garlic. They're going to go in there as well. All right. Okay. Let's use the spatula here to do that, babe. All right. Okay. That's the. All right. We get most of this okay, in here. Okay. Try to. Let me go from the opposite end. <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I'll move these out your way. All right. Okay. Let me use this cutting board for the. Uh, uh -huh, because I'm going to go ahead and start getting the potatoes together. We're going to cut that potato. All right. I was uh, really surprised again. Uh, they found those old video clips of the Bunny Living <laughs> program. I wasn't expecting that, honey. I know that that was yeah, a surprise. That, that, that took us back a little that bit. That was a surprise. That was a you surprise. Know. You know, but I think the thing that's such so good is that. You know, really and truly, there was just no way that we would ever even thought that the Lord was going to actually do something that long. I mean, you know, that's that was amazing. As you would it's say, still amazing. As you would say, whoever, who have thunk it? Who, 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 who would have who? thunk it? All right. Now, okay. once you've got that all nice so, and seasoned, now we're going to nice go ahead on it. Those potatoes are already, I've already done some potatoes ahead of time, so you can go ahead and put those potatoes in there. These white potatoes? Yes. Okay. These are bacon potatoes. Bacon potatoes, bacon potatoes. okay. I'm going to go ahead and put in the rest of those. And I'm going to have you go ahead on and start cutting up, once again, the um, peppers. I'm going to go ahead and do, I already started uh, tomatoes already. As you, I'm tomatoes. I don't know why I keep saying that. Sweet potatoes. I already got them. We're going to put those in. This is another very, very colorful. You want these in the chunks? Uh, slices. More of, uh, yeah, you can do it in chunks. Go ahead and do it in chunks. Okay. And once again, just put them in cold water, cold water. You have, it's making a lot of noise, isn't it? Try to do it a little bit softer than that. No, not the, so loud, not the so board, loud. The board is, is loud, that's why. The board is loud. Yeah, so. Okay. Now, this is a very colorful recipe, and you're talking about that diabetes. One of the things that we'll be talking about is the diet itself of uh, plant-based. And so we're already ahead on that yeah. when we look at that. And they'll, they'll be able to even look at this segment and see what kind of food we're fixing. Because yeah. a lot of times people are, I don't know about all that, you know, I'm not sure about that food, you know. And, nice one, other, and one other thing, and the, those who would be coming to either the conference uh, on May 2nd or the diabetes retreat in October, there's going to be a whole segment on carbohydrates. And honey, there's a lot of talk about carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. You know, low carbs, no carbs, and do they make you fat? And, you know, if you are diabetic, you shouldn't eat any carbs. So we're going to make it very simple and plain about carbohydrate. 
And I think a lot of confusion, honey, because a lot of people don't understand the meaning of the term. What does the word carbohydrate mean? And then also, what are three different types of carbohydrates? Two are really advantageous, one is detrimental. Mm -hmm. And also, we teach that you don't have to count carbs. Now that's the part that they're going to be very excited about. Yes. Because even with the fact that we're a part of the council and we do a lot of things with the right. Diabetes Institute. Is it make it, it easy. Yeah. Uh, when they learn about the, the whole thing about plant-based eating, they'll discover that food lasts a lot longer in a system. Mm -hmm. And so you don't have to worry about that sugar spike. Yeah. And the but counting of the carbs. And yeah. one lady said when she came to our class, we did this at the first church in Huntsville, Alabama. And when she found out, oh my God, I don't have to count carbs and we'll make it plain and simple for you and uh, based on evidence based that uh, you can maintain your blood sugar levels and uh, the foods that will also reduce belly fat as well uh -huh. so mm -hmm. okay now so you this go is going in. into the that's going to go in all right going in all right and i want you to see how colorful this one is okay okay, okay. And all oh, that's Tim, that's all the... All right. Now comes the good part, and that is to actually bring up, you can move that knife out the way, and to actually bring up all the seasonings from the bottom. So because now... Because this is what really okay. brings this to life. And I like this because you got the zucchini up in here. Mm -hmm. You also have the sweet potato and the baking potato. Okay, okay? so all and of that's so you get in all these different combinations in your mouth, mm, all right? Mm. A little bit of sweet potato, mm -hmm. squash, and you know, for my, my mothers out there who are always talking about having an issue with their children eating, this is a very good recipe to hide the vegetables. Get all your vegetables hide in there. Hide them vegetables. And it makes it look colorful hide, make, at they're, the they're same time. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Because yeah. we eat with our eyes. And see there, I'm bringing it all up. All right. And normally, like I said before, normally what I would do with this after I've done all the chopping up, I'd put it into, I put plastic bag over, uh, plastic wrap over it, and then I'd sit it and let it sit and marinate for at least eight minutes. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. Eight to ten minutes. You can see how colorful mm -hmm. it is. It's very, very pretty. Everything is in there. I'm going to go ahead on and sprinkle okay. on the uh, salt. Sea salt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's go ahead and stir it up a little bit more. And if you get that dish for okay, me, so it this goes is going in, in here. nine by thirteen baking dish, all right? And this will bake for? And it bakes in the oven, the first time, about 15 minutes on 375 degrees. And then I go back in there with a the spatula and I turn it, and then I do another 15 you minutes. You mean now, turn it over? Or, just, yeah, you're going to uh, just turn it in the, in the uh, dish in itself, the dish. another one. And it's going to actually bake covered. It's got to be covered when you're baking it, OK? OK. So 15 minutes first, mm -hmm. then you, you turn it over or whatever. And do another 15 minutes. And, and you can and cover it again. For yep, keep okay. it covered. And right. the bottom line is that I, I tell people all the time, what you want to do is you're going to take a fork and then just stick it through your potato. If it goes through the sweet potato, it goes through the white baked potato, okay. then you know basically it's done, all right? Mm -hmm. So at this point, isn't that pretty? Yes. Colorful? All right? There you go. So honey. now we're just going to go ahead on and put it into the dish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you did say we have a surprise at the end of this cooking program. I, I've Is got that correct? Surprise at the end of the program. Yes. Hold on one minute. Let me get my spatula again, because you know we have to always get all the goodies out. Now you know we had we went to a a place and there was a young girl there about eleven. Her mother says she has all your personality. Oh yeah. Whenever she gets in the kitchen, she says I want to do it like Paula Aikens does it. You know, and so she copies. The stuff that I do. That's I think she funny. had her neck going and she put the hand on the hip and all that. She had that part where I said, and just stay, stay by. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can see this is a very attractive dish. It goes along with our, our, our coconut curry tofu mm, that we've actually made so earlier. It's so colorful, It yes. smells really good. Doesn't it smell good? Mm-hmm. Yep. And it's you smell good, too, oven. honey. Thank you. I just want to just throw that in for the camera's sake. Ahead, throw it on in. Throw it in I already threw it in. Okay. Now, we're going to cover it up with uh, a <laughs> okay, cover for... it up. Yeah. Now, you know, we get comments also, and I'm, I just, just, I've been out here a while. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Because normally you can actually put aluminum foil over top of it. So for those of you who don't use aluminum foil, what we do is we take parchment paper, put the parchment paper across it, 
okay? And you're gonna make it shorter, and then you're gonna put the foil over top of that. That way you don't have to worry about the, the aluminum leaching into the vegetables mm -hmm. itself, all right? Sometimes and you flip it upside down. The other down. way, yeah, if I do lasagna because the tomatoes are in there, mm -hmm. then that one means the tomatoes, right. gonna, the acid from the tomatoes will pull that aluminum down. Mm -hmm. So on that one, I put the parchment paper over top again, I flip the, the uh, aluminum Shiny foil, side down. Shiny side down, and it goes into the oven, and you can bake with it as well. Okay. One thing I don't wanna do is I don't want, like baking things in the oven, and I don't have any covering on them because it dries everything out. Okay. All right? Okay, good enough. Okay, All right. so that one is actually ready to go in the oven. It's going to bake, like I said, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. One side, turn it over, 15 more minutes. Stick your fork in there, see if it's tender enough. If not, let it go another 10 minutes or so, mm. okay? Mm. But basically, you wait till you see this at the end of the program. It's very, very, very pretty. Okay. okay. All right. Let's go to our very next recipe. Well, let's do it. It's Lebanese pita bread. It calls for four pita breads, three tablespoons of thyme fresh, three tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds, and one third cup of olive oil. Now, I really like this recipe because um, even though it's not really Indian, it is Lebanese, Lebanese. I like a lot of seasonings and okay. spices and stuff. And you know, one thing, when you switch over to plant-based eating, mm -hmm. a lot of times people kind of um, just, it's too bland. Mm -hmm. It's too bland. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that I do when we do our cooking is that we make sure we bring those herbs and those spices back in there. Okay. Herbs and spices are what makes it come to life. And once again, people eat with their eyes. Right. And also, they have their superfoods that they like. We talked mm -hmm. about that earlier in the okay. program, okay? okay. Um, the superfoods are very, very important because that's what people like to eat. So if you can find the foods they like to eat but find it in a healthier format, they're more apt to try it. All okay, right? okay. And Super so with foods. that in mind, um, I just love Indian cuisine. I love uh, other foods from other countries. Mm -hmm. uh, in our book, Global Vegetarian, mm -hmm. we actually do foods. It's called Global because it's right. foods from around the world. Mexican, Mexican Thai, Italian, Caribbean, Indian. Right, that's right. There it is so right forth. there, yeah. So, so we like to actually just uh, you know, kind of for the person who wants to go more with that, because people are eating out at a restaurant, mm -hmm. and by them eating out at a restaurant, these are the kind of foods they like. So why not do the same foods in a healthier format? Okay. Right? Yeah. And so this recipe, Curtis, is um, another one. It's not really one that I actually came up with myself. I actually saw it some time ago, and thought this was really kind of unique mm. to take pita bread, pita which bread. you're used to using and stuffing it and making, you know, salad and yeah, stuff chicken in, salad, falafel, it's whatever, really eating remember. straight up. Well, now, when I saw this recipe, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. They're taking the pita bread, and they're actually cutting the pita bread in half, all right? Okay. Now, you can already buy the pita bread already halved, okay? But they're cutting it in half, and then opening up that middle piece, right? Like this. And then, they're going to take a knife. I think this is a knife. Is that the right one? I think so. And then they're going to just cut it in half. All I'm oh, doing okay. is just taking it and splitting it in half, okay? Oh. Because we're gonna actually turn around and make this into a real nice kind of a, a cracker, believe it or not, all right? Mm. And that, okay, now, now, different types of pita bread, I mean. Whole wheat, this is a whole wheat. Whole wheat. Whole wheat pita bread, Okay, because right? there's other types too, but we're yeah, using but whole wheat. Yeah, well, that's because we do plant-based right. cooking, all right? Okay. So with that in mind, we wanna go ahead on and use it, do it that way. So I've actually moved it and you're gonna just put, and this is gonna be a thinner piece, and that's that one. Okay, I'm gonna open up another one just so they get a chance to see what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna stick this one in this time. Yeah. I think this works a lot easier, all right? But the name of the game is we're gonna make up a cracker, kind of like a cracker. So mm -hmm. once, it, once it goes in the oven under a broil, we're gonna show them what we're doing with that as well. They'll see it at the end of the program. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna take it and we're gonna break it up. Okay, we're gonna break it up. The pita bread, you mean? Yeah, the break, we'll, we'll break it up once it comes out of the broiler. Oh, I see. The broiler, okay? okay, okay. So we got them all done there, okay? Mm -hmm. you get a chance to see how it looks. So it's the inside. You want to make sure this is the inside you're going to be using. Now, mm -hmm. I want you to go ahead on and make the inside the actual seasoning that we're going to be putting on the bread. So we have olive oil. Put this in here? Mm -hmm. Okay, olive oil, go in there. All right. And we also have fresh thyme. Okay. If you want to change this up, you can always use also tarragon. You can use basil, depending on your flavor. And then we got toasted sesame seeds. Oh, okay. I was wondering what <laughs> that was. All right, we're going to use our fork, and we're just going to swish that around a little bit there. Take this out your way. Okay. All right. 
And so this mixture is going to go... That is actually going to be the seasoning that's going to go on the inside of the pita bread, all right? So with that in mind, you're going to have to use a vegetable brush, okay? And with the vegetable brush, all we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to paint, mm -hmm. okay? We're going to paint the inside of the bread, mm -hmm. okay? And it sticks because of the fact that the soft part is in there. See that? Yeah, okay. And we're just moving that around. Okay, now I tell you what, I did some of these. That olive oil is going to be knocked down, drag out good on this. Okay, okay now knock down, drag out for interpretation. That means it's good. It means it's real good. I just want to make sure the interpretation okay. is correct. And what we're going to do, I got another brush there, so I'm going to have you very lightly. Continue. You're going to very lightly put that, do that that way, and I'll do a couple more. Very lightly, just a little bit, because you want to have the um, sesame seeds, and you also want to have the, the uh, thyme there as well. So I'm going to take a little bit more here and sometimes just kind of pull up a little bit of the actual herb itself. Pull up the herb. That way when you brush it, you get some herbs get some on there the as herbs well. Get some herbs on there as well, yeah. Okay? Okay. All righty. And this one here goes in the broil in the oven. I'm going to broil it. And it's going to turn a brown color, a brown, a golden brown color. It will dry and you can break it up into crackers. Oh, okay. But it's going to go with our dish today as well. Okay. okay? I'll just brush that around just a little bit. Just the last one here. We are just And you got some like that one. Put some on that one. Okay. If you will, please. Get it all, yeah, all the goodies. All the goodies. Okay. Okay. So just spreading it around on there is also delicious. Oh, uh, let me just get that little, that little piece there. Now, once again, like I said before, you can use, you can use um, basil leaves, fresh basil, tarragon leaves, um, parsley. Parsley's okay, but I kind of like these ones the better. Thyme, fresh thyme, mm -hmm. okay? If you don't have it, you can use the crown one, but it's not going to get the same effect as you would get if you use fresh, all right? Okay. And we like okay. to grow. We grow uh, thyme and sage and all that stuff in our garden at home. Now, tell the people about the garden that we have. Or okay, okay. Just a little, we got a little, a few minutes. Just okay. a few let, minutes. Let me, let me just tell you about the garden. Just tell a little we bit about the garden. We have a raised garden. A raised. Okay. Now, what do you mean we by raised a raised garden. raised garden? It means it's about the, the length or the height of this table right here. And the reason for that is that I'm from Philadelphia. I was born and raised in Philadelphia, which means that I'm scared of buggies. Anything that crawls, walks, flies, Anything whatever. out in nature. Okay. But I want a garden. <laughs> I don't want to get on the ground. Because if I see something, I'm going to be jumping up and running into the house. So And jumping into my arms. Yep, well, that too. And so with <laughs> that in mind, I asked you to build me a container garden. Four by eight. Four by eight. Waist high. Waist high. So all I have to do is just kind of reach in and put my seeds in and pluck things out and go around in a circle. And it's amazing how much stuff I can actually It is there. amazing. Green beans are in there. Bell peppers are in there. Tomatoes are in there. No and back all my aches. Herbs in one corner, no back ache, none of that kind of stuff at all. All you do is stick the hose in there and let the water flow through. It is absolutely yeah. fantastic. People have stopped by our house yeah. and said, what is that in your backyard? They can see it as they go by the um, Sparkman Drive here. Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing, too, is just the main thing for <laughs> container gardens is they have to sit so many hours. I think it's 13 to 16 hours they have to be in the sun. Yeah, we arrange so it. So the reason why it's sitting, it's sitting where it is is mm -hmm. because that's how the sun comes into the garden. Yeah. And so that's why it's sitting almost on the outside where people see it. They say, what is that? You know, we've got a lot of people who talk about it. And a lot of people who got container gardens that's afterwards. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is what, our what, fourth, fifth year? Our fifth year coming in. Yes, fifth but year. I do want to tell you a secret. Okay. Now, although I'm afraid of buggies, um, you know, um, and, and little worms, stuff like that, you know, I have learned to put the earthworms into the soil so I can get good food. Um, I did not know that there are things that come from the atmosphere that loves tomatoes and loves green beans, the aphises, and all those different kind of critters. <laughs> so I'm out there one day and I'm just going through my garden. I'm just praising the Lord and everything and taking all kind of pictures. And I said, oh, what is that? And I ran in the house and got you. Mm -hmm. And when I ran inside the house and came out, we got the book out, and we discovered 
even though you have stuff that's from the earth, there's also stuff that flies in the air. Yeah. <laughs> and they, and they can't control the air. Yeah. Can't control it, uh -huh. you know. So, but it's great we reduce because it's off the ground. It's off the ground. And uh, so it's, you know, waist high. There's no back aches. Nope. There's no crickets. We have a lot of rabbits and squirrels oh, yeah. and all kinds of And bombs. the rabbits sit at the bottom of the container garden. Yeah. Wanting to get up there, but they can't jump up that high. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the squirrels go up there. They okay. do, yeah. All right. Well, guess okay, what? Now, so, this is going to go. All we're so going to do is sit okay. these on a sheet. All right. Like so. Okay. And um, and this is going to go in the oven under broil. Okay. Yeah. And at the end of the program, they'll get a chance to see that as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And room in here. there, that one there. And we got enough room for one more. We're going to make room for one more. One more. There you go. Okay. Okay. We'll turn that around. Turn around this way. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And that's a good way to get that pita bread also out there as well. That's going to go in the oven. It's going to broil for just a few minutes, turn brown color. Okay. And then it's ready to go. It's ready to go. Right. And this can be served with the dish we just made. It can be before. served with the dish we just did um, as a part of that as well. Um, basically, the, co the coconut curry tofu, mm -hmm. also with the vegetables we have as well. Now, people in there, they normally eat this. This, this is a Lebanese, oh, this, this is a Lebanese, this Lebanese dish. Okay. okay. Paula's version. Paula's version. Don't forget that. Okay, don't, don't forget, forget that. that. Okay, because every now and then people say, well, I don't do it that way. Yeah. It's Paula's but version. But you're doing it this way. My version. On 3 ABN. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so okay. look at the next recipe. It is a cashew sour cream. It calls for one cup of raw cashews, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, one half cup of almond milk, one half teaspoon of onion powder, three tablespoons of lemon juice fresh, and one fourth teaspoon of sea salt. Okay, I like this recipe, Curtis, because this one here is a sour cream. Sour cream. And people mm -hmm. always talk about, I can't find sour cream, you know, I'm plant-based, mm -hmm. how are we going to do it? So we're making up a sour cream, okay. taste like, act like, flavorful, like sour cream. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Now, uh, I want you to go ahead and open that up because what you have to do is you have to actually soak the cashews. You have to soak the cashews. And these are raw cashews. Raw cashews. Okay. You have to soak them for at least four hours before you use them in this recipe, all right? Okay. So we got the cashews and they're going in, okay? And they're going to get soft, which is what you want, okay. all right? Um, and then you're going to put that top on and go ahead and spin that around for me. Oh, all right. All right? They're already soft, so they're now, where, ready to go. Where, where can you get raw cashews? I mean... Any it, health food store? Really uh, at the health food store? Well, you, no, 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 well, no. Not I necessarily? see raw cashews at some of the supermarkets. If they have a natural food section mm -hmm. in a regular supermarket, you should be able to find it. Okay, all right. All right. Okay. Okay. It's going to be hard. Let me so see. Just, just mash it down a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead and put the other stuff in. See, you see it's already getting, it's already, it's soft from the very beginning. You're right, yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I want you to do is go ahead on and do it. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of the almond milk in there. Okay, got a little liquid in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just need to move it on. on it, was, it needed to be reared up. It's on low. Okay. okay. Now, before we go any further, I need you to go ahead and do the lemons for me. Okay. Do the lemons, and while you're getting the lemons ready um, to go in there, the lemons is actually going to make it thicken up and give it you what you need to have for this flavor of this actual cashew cheese. Not a cashew, cashew sour cream. Also, um, okay, let's pour it in. All right. Let's go ahead and do the other one there as well, Curtis. All righty. We get some calls on this one too, yeah, you know. Yeah, I know. This lemon juicer, or whatever. I know, it. I know, I know. Well, you know, another one of my one of my gadgets. Okay. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to take this. This. Let me just go ahead and move this around a little bit in here. All right. Okay. Because you actually have to speed it on high in order for it to do what it needs to do. And it was too low the first time. Let's go ahead and put in the, um, the onion and garlic powder. Okay. Onion, and the salt. Garlic, salt, mm -hmm. and the 
garlic powder. Okay. Okay, spin and it. now we're gonna spin it again. And now when you do it on this here, we just do, do liquid, let's go to the liquid one. All right, you wanna go ahead and take and spin it around one more time with that. Mm. Oh yeah. Real quick, see it's thickening see the up. Lemon juice is thickening, doing it. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The lemon juice doing that right. Okay. Uh -huh. One more time. Yeah. Okay. This should be, let's see what it's looking like now. It looks like a sour cream. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is going to be the last time. I want to make sure you get everything in there, the onion powder, garlic powder, the salt. You want to get all those seasonings in. The lemon juice is what's actually causing it to get thickened. All right? Okay. All right, now, and so it's going in, in okay. I'll go ahead on and put it in so they can see the texture of what that looks like. Coming down to the wire. A couple more okay. minutes. Nice and creamy. Nice now and creamy. Now this is going. Now believe it or not, this is what we actually use for the vegetable, the spicy vegetables. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can actually have your um, uh, uh, breads Flatbread, you're going to be using a flatbread. And you can take those vegetables, Curtis, believe it or not, you can take the vegetables and you can open up the flatbread and you can put the vegetables in the middle and then you would do the sour cream on top of it, mm. wrap it up, and go at mm. it. Yeah. Okay, no, okay, okay, one more time. So okay. you have the flatbread. Yes. And this put is your flat whole wheat bread. Okay. They're out there on the market. Put the vegetables. In the center. In the center. Put your sour cream in the middle of it. Roll it up and eat it. And eat it. Eat it. Eat, eat it. it. Eat it. Okay. okay. Um, I did almond milk. Sometimes mm. people are allergic to almond milk. I said, then you can use soy milk. Some people are allergic to soy milk. So I said, then you can use rice milk. Some people say, I'm allergic to rice milk. I said, well, you can't do this recipe. That's all I <laughs> but anyway, I hear you, girl. Anyway, usually <laughs> rice milk, almond milk, or soy milk, any one of those can actually go mm. as a part of it. And look at nice and creamy. It lasts about seven days in the refrigerator. It doesn't last that long in my house, but about seven days in the refrigerator um, because there's no additives and stuff being added to it. But it mm -hmm. has a nice look and nice texture to it. Mm -hmm. And so okay. what's going to happen is what we're going to do is we're going to go and put everything together along with the surprise that we yes. have. Yes, yes, okay. That. Well, I tell you what, for those interested in uh, purchasing my wife's uh, cookbook, The Vegetarian Cooking Made Easy, or the Global Vegetarian, and also the latest one, the Loma Linda Worthington uh, can products, if you're inter interested in that as well. And also, if you want to be interested in the Defeating Diabetes Conference in the Huntsville, Alabama area, or Defeating Diabetes Retreat outside of Birmingham for a whole weekend in October, here's the information that you need at this time. If you would like to contact the Akins to find out more about their ministry, or if you'd like to invite Curtis and Paula to present their seminars in your area, then you can contact them at Abundant Living, Post Office Box 2873, Huntsville, Alabama 35804. That's Abundant Living, Post Office Box 2873, Huntsville, Alabama 35804. You can call 256-859-1982. That's 256-859-1982. You may also order their products or get their recipes online at AbundantLivingTV.org. That's AbundantLivingTV.org. Well, we've actually finished the program, Chris. All right. Team effort, honey. Team effort. Team, team, team. All and right. What we did was we did a coconut curry mm. tofu that looks good honey uh -huh. i mean just marvelous then we did oven baked spicy mm. vegetables so colorful uh-huh uh -huh. yes then we did a lebanese 
pita bread. Mm-hmm. It actually has the thyme and, and that's going to be new to a lot of people. Yes, yes, yes. And then we end it with a cashew sour cream. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. That sounds good. And so and uh, now I, I noticed that th- this is looks good. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can taste something and of course now there's an empty dish there too so that's the empty dish yeah so and so uh we we're going to taste something first or talk about well, what we goes taste, in the empty if dish we taste something that's really what i like to taste toward the end maybe we should do something about that because okay. i'm trying to figure out what, what, what what's your word what's going on here no well you tell me because you put it there so, well i put it there because it's a because. special something special it's our 20th year 20th, 20th year, year on Three Angels on Broadcasting 3 ABN, Network. Abundant Living. So, I so, have a gift. Oh, a gift. Yes. What kind of gift? Oh, you're going back to get the gift? I'm going back to get the gift. Oh, I see the gift. Yes, you do. Look at that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. A little bun cake going on. Uh-huh. All right, this, uh... Now, oh, this my is goodness. because of the fact that we Ooh, are actually the icing coming on down celebrating... All right. 20 years. 20 years. I hope that 20 is sitting like it's supposed to Yeah, be. it is. 20 years. 20 All right. Years. That's amazing. 20, 20 years. 20 years. 20 years. 20 years. 20 ABN. years. All right. Yep. It's been a wonderful 20 years. And we, we never would have guessed no. really 20 years ago that we'd be on 3ABN this long. It's I mean, it never thing. really even crossed our mind. A God thing. Yeah, it's a, a God, God thing. thing. So um, Over 200 uh, plus programs. That's just on Abundant Living alone. Yeah, probably over to, 300 total. But yeah, uh, yeah Today's shows, the live presentations, yes. all that. And we're just so honored yes. that uh, the Lord inspired uh, Danny and them to get started with us coming on the program mm. that long ago. And yes. uh, it's been a fantastic time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Not to mention so, uh, D. Hildebrand. D. Hildebrand who, uh, was the one who contacted her. She says she's the one who really discovered, discovered us. us. Yes, D. Hildebrand. Yes, and, uh, so, but yeah, it was just a marvelous uh, journey. Um, a lot of uh, blessings that we have encountered that we share as well. Uh, so now, uh, we, can we taste some of these things? I knew you were going to say that. You can taste a little bit I, of I everything. Knew, I knew. No, no. Oh, what, what's up? I, okay, see. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, we, now, we, which one is that? That's this the, is the uh, creamy. This is the coconut. This is the one that's oh. the coconut. Coconut curry. Okay, coconut. okay. Oh. Now, now let's uh, open mouth and um, come on, baby. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Mm-mm, mm. Okay, it's good. Okay, I'm, I'm going down. I'm going with this one, too. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Mm. We know going close. Mm-hmm. As always, John 10, 10, Jesus said, I come, that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Mm.